It is shower time in Alaska. We're gonna show you our $30 shower that's easy to do, it gives us hot water, and it makes us sleep good at night. So let's get right into this thing. So this tent that we've been using for the restroom and for hiding from mosquitoes, we just take it up because this ground here is all dusty, we're just gonna move it down there to somewhere green uh, so when the shower's hitting, we don't create a bunch of mud. So here's how quick this thing goes up. Grab the center, there's a little popping piece here. Pop that up. And it all goes up by one person. This one here, then I go to the complete other side. Last pole. And then there's just these tiny clips on each pole. So I don't know how long that took, but I would say less than two minutes, right? I'll put the timer on the screen. Besides steaks, we're done. All right, I gotta give a really quick shout out to a really cool YouTube channel called From She To Me. In that channel, she takes her Sprinter van or a Sprinter style van and does modifications. And in one of the episodes, she makes a tent for the outside of her van for taking showers. And it's really neat. I think you should check it out. It'll work on your scamp and your teardrop. It's do it yourself. It's really cheap. I'm going to put the link in the description below, but definitely check out her channel and give her some love. We leave the soap the Dr. Bronner's in there when we tear down the tent. That way it's waiting for us when we put it back up. So this is our setup. This is the uh, box that holds the 4D batteries here. This is the pump. This is the shower nozzle. And these are our little collapsible buckets for grabbing water from down in the lake. Yeah, both buckets. Yeah. There you go. Nice bucket. Ready? We're gonna go get some water. Down the path. I love these little white, fluffy ball things. Going through the swamp. Let's fill her up. Okay. Oh, who's gonna carry all that back? Dad. Okay, I'm like, Mama cannot carry that back. <laughs> oh, it's like a swimming pool. Look how refreshing oh, it's that hard looks. To hold. Good job. Good okay. job, my strong little you did man. Good. Let's go. Okay, you see this plant right here? Doesn't look like anything to you, but it's my favorite plant. You know why? because it's salmon berries. You've probably never even heard of salmon berries. The best berries you can ever ask for. Yum yum. Mosquitoes are awful, so we're gonna start a little citronella candle. Let's see if that'll ward them off. All right, test. Oh it yeah. It works. I'm with my head. I did it the wrong way last time, didn't I? All right, let's get you some Dr. Bronner's. Okay, remember to close your eyes. All right, let's get your hair first, okay? Let's do your body. Did you just film 
me. I did. Come on. Let's go. Let's go to the scamp so you don't get bit up. Come on. So, we use two buckets. We use this little bucket because it makes it so the filter can stay submersed. And then this bucket, we're surprised. It catches so much water. Uh, if you have a little bucket like this, this is really all you need to take a shower. When we first got this, we were surprised because as you saw in the video probably, it comes down really hard and firm. We thought we didn't like it because that's too much pressure, a lot of waste of water. But the water just goes right back in this and you kind of recycle it out. Yeah, it's your own body, dead skin, dirt, that sort of thing. But it feels great with this much pressure because it really blows all the dirt and all the tree sap and everything right out of your hair. I probably should mention this is the Zodi um, shower pump. We did not buy the full Zodi kit. I think this pump, I'll put the price on here, but I want to say it's like around $30. This thing's pretty chintzy. The, that broke like the first time we used it. It still kind of works. I don't know how great it's gonna be over time. Uh, we've only used it for one season here. But heating up the water on the Coleman doesn't take much time at all. Uh, we thought originally when we started doing this that it was about taking the edge off the cold water. But really we get this thing to a full hot water shower tab. Doesn't take long at all. And these two nest inside each other which is super nice for transport. Look how thin this thing is, that's hard to tell. Very thin. Okay, in our last camping location, we forgot to mention why we didn't purchase the entire Zodi system. And really, originally it was because when we got the teardrop, we thought we needed to go as light as possible. So we took all our backpacking gear into the teardrop, purchased limited gear, but over time we found that the towing doesn't seem to be impacted by how much weight we throw in there. And we didn't think we'd be staying out this long in these locations. So the longer we stay here, the more we need heavier, sturdier chairs, heavier equipment. And that's a video on its own. We'll talk about the progression we've made. But back to this, this right here is just the battery powered shower. So it has the pump on it, it has the shower head. But if you buy the whole system, you're getting the heater. And that heater, what it does is it has a line that circulates back through your bucket of water. So your water starts cold, and each round it gets warmer and warmer until you get it up to the temp you want. So this, again, was like $30. I'll link it in the description below. The entire Zodi system, it's gonna cost you a little more, but it might be worth replacing the pots and pans method that we do, even though it doesn't take much time at all. So I'll link that in the description too, but it's about time to head back to the scamp here. So I am gonna hit the shower for the night. Easton May just hit the shower and they're ready for a good sleep.